Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and it's getting close to fall season, and in the beer community, that means, well, pumpkin beers. And I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, not a lot of you are probably big pumpkin fans. Some of you are, some of you aren't. And the ones that aren't, though, what if, what if I told you I had a pumpkin beer that was 17 and 18% in alcohol? I'd give that a try. Yeah, I would too. So let's check out Avery's Big Pumpkin Beer. So today we're going to be checking out Avery Brewery's Rum King and Pumpkin. Pumpkin with a KY. KY. Because it goes in easy. Yep. Yep. Rum King comes in at a 17.5% ABV. A unavailable IBUs, it gets an average rating on untapped of 4.07. We wondered what would happen if a monstrous pumpkin ale plumped full of spice gordonness were aged in fine fresh rum barrels to add suggestions of delicate oak and candied molasses. Rumpkin is what happened. This first member of the annual barrel age series was brewed with roasted pumpkins from a local Boulder County farm and spiced with nutmeg, cinnamon, and ginger. All right, so we're gonna be checking out the Rumpkin first. Yeah. Ooh. No, I didn't even have to smell this. I, as I was pouring it, I can smell the rum. Yeah. I, it's mean, big rum. It's interesting too, like the, the head's gone. The yeah. head would just yeah. went it's, away. It was just went away very fast. That means it's gonna be like big, thick I think so. Feel. I think so too. We'll check it out. All right. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> um. Okay. Yes, you taste you taste rum right away. You taste rum. <laughs> it's not. It's actually pretty good rum. It's actually. pretty good. Yeah. It's you. You taste like that. That candied rum flavor almost. I almost thought this was a barley wine. That pumpkin. The pumpkin spice is at the back end. Yeah. After you sip it, you take a sip. You're like, oh, this is rum. Yeah. It almost tastes like a flavored rum. So if Bacardi did a coke or a pumpkin. A pumpkin. It would be like this. Yeah, it's super thick, like candy. Mm hmm Like Belgian candy. Yep. Very much um, so. Yeah. The malt just gets you first. It's all those big flavors get you right up mm -hmm. first. And and then there's, oh, I do taste pumpkin spice, yeah. which is nice. I actually do appreciate that, that well, there, it's up there. Yeah. for a big 17.5% beer, you still taste pumpkin, pumpkin. something. Yeah. We've gone to enough pumpkin festivals and had lots of pumpkin yes. beers that we're like, there's no pumpkin there's in no this. Pumpkin this, this. Is, yeah. this is no pumpkin yeah. in this, yeah. Well, that's the thing that I always find a weird pumpkin. What, what is a pumpkin beer? Did, yeah. did they put pumpkin in it? Well, if you just put pumpkin in it, pumpkin really doesn't have much of a flavor. No, I mean, it's just a, a yam with sugar. Yeah, it's just it's like yeah, potato yeah. and sugar. Right, <laughs> yeah, it's like there's not much there. Um, so it doesn't really add that much flavor complexity to it. It's when you add those spices that you are used to when you have a bite of pumpkin pie. Yeah, uh, most people equate uh, pumpkin beers to pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, flavor. yeah, so it's really just pumpkin spice. Yeah, it's, it's, more, it's more like nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, ginger-esque, and some sweetness. All, all spice, I think. All spice, it? yeah. yeah. Some sweetness, yeah. Some, and some kind of a sweetness. Usually you're wanting a sweet, malty back end, um, which is this has. This tastes like a shot of sweet, yeah. spiced rum. Yep. And I had a bite of pumpkin pie, mm -hmm. like either before or after it. That's that's a pretty apt description because that's kind of what that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you find this, you have to share that because there's no way you would be one extremely plastered by the end of the thing, but you'd also be sick of the flavor because oh, it yeah. is a little on the sweet side. No, that's why uh, when I opened, I was like, I, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, yeah like, I, know, I, know I, I wouldn't want to drink this at night and be like, oh, I gotta go to work the next yeah. day. I mean, this would be like you could get this for Thanksgiving or something like that, and. Instead of having pumpkin pie, have this. Yeah, I'd be all for oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. This. That would be that would be uh, that would be fun. But I'd yeah, be like, uh, I mean, like six ounces is probably the most yeah. I ever want of this yeah. at any given time. But I do actually really like it. I do. It's really good. It's a good flavor experience. Um, definitely something to share. Yeah. But it, but it, it's a pleasant yeah. experience. Yeah. Mm. This this one is a little bit. Now that I'm drinking it more, a little bit on the boozy side. I told you I tasted it. Yeah, yeah, it's a little on the boozy is, side. This is the lighter of the two. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what we can do the next one. <laughs> well, let's find out. All right, pumpkin with a KY comes in at an 18.8 .8 ABV and an unavailable IBU. It gets an average rating of 4.25. What is in a name? Sometimes the simplest can be the most descriptive, and in this case, derisive and divisive. 
After much internal debate, we decided a single letter change is the best way to embody the bourbon barrel aging that adds layers of complexity to an already exquisitely spiced pumpkin porter. All right, so let's check out Avery's pumpkin with the KY. KY, yes, let's see how easy it goes down. Ooh. Okay. Mmm. I might even like this one a little bit better. This is interesting. It's sweet. Sweet again. Yeah, it's sweet, sweet again. It's sweet. Yeah, just like that. 18.8. It is definitely boozy. It's boozy. You know, I, I don't know. I think I tasted more alcohol. In, in the last the, one? In the last one. Mm. Uh, it's still sweet. Yes. It's, um, but not as malty. I don't know. It was different. The other one tasted like rum. Yeah. This doesn't taste like whiskey. Man, no. whiskey's really not sweet. No. The the rumkin one, I didn't taste the booziness until the end. And I taste the rum right up front. This one, I'm tasting the booziness almost up front. And then the sweet kind of barrel age, uh, uh, spice and malty sweetness at the end. This is this is this this one is all about the finish. Yeah. The upfront is pretty harsh, to be honest. I have two complaints about this beer. Okay. Uh, one is the description, and even on the bottle, and what you read states porter. Yeah, it does not look like a porter. Does not look like a porter. It, does not, it tastes, this looks like, it tastes an like ale. A pour. Yeah, it tastes like an ale aged in a barrel. Technically, it might be classified be porter, because they yeah. put some kind of malt. They're stretching yeah. it for me, honestly. Two, this is supposed to be a pumpkin beer. I do not taste any pumpkin like I did in the last beer. Yeah, this is this is definitely more sweet. This tastes mostly like a bourbon barrel aged or a whiskey barrel aged beer. Mm -hmm. And there are some spice notes at the end. I do taste that. But I equate that <clears> more <throat> to the barrel aging, not like, oh, they added pumpkin to this, pumpkin spices. Yeah, I don't know. It just tastes, I don't know, sweet. It's very boozy and it's very sweet. And then the very last note that you get is some, some spice, spice. notes. So. It's like almost, we just threw a dash of allspice. Yeah. <sighs> but I kind of like the other one. I, I, you think you like the other one? Yeah. The, the, I do like the other one in the fact that you tasted the rum right away. I thought I liked the rum right away. I like the fact that I could still taste and say this is a pumpkin beer. Yeah. I think this is a really good beer. But I, you could literally take probably the pumpkin out of it and I'm yeah. like, oh, this is just an, yeah. a, a, a barrel aged strong ale. Yeah. That's what I would have called this is just a barrel aged yeah. strong. I'm like, oh, it's a great version of it. The pumpkin, I don't know. This is, this is definitely for me anyway, this is very boozy. If somebody likes whiskey, maybe this would be something for them. It's, it's a little too frilly though. It's, it's got a lot of um, sweetness to it. Well, I mean like a, this, is, this is actually probably like more like a cognac. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you know, like a, like a dessert. A, a dessert. A dessert. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. If you, if you want a more prominent uh, pumpkin-y spice type beer, definitely go for the Rumpkin. This one is more of your traditional, just big, boozy, whiskey barrel aged. Yep. With an afterthought of a pumpkin spice. At the yes, end. I would agree with that. Yeah. So if you are looking for a pumpkin beer or you know someone that doesn't like pumpkin beer, you know, you might want to check out one of the Avery ones because I bet they have something that'll tingle or fancy either one. If you don't like pumpkin beers, but you're like, hey, it's got high ABV, go with the pumpkin yeah. with the KY because it goes down pretty easy. Yeah, pretty <laughs> um, but if you do want a little bit of that pumpkin spice, but you want to get, well, hit hard fast, go with the rumkin. Rumkin, yeah. That, you'll taste pumpkin and you're going to feel it right away. Yeah. So, yeah. I like, honestly, I like both of them. I like both of them. I think I like the Rumpkin a little bit better. Me too. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. See you. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for those will be at the very bottom of that description. So scroll down. You know, if you accidentally scroll too far, well, that's where comments go. Um, have you ever gotten to try Avery's Pumpkin or Rumkin? This is the 2016. There might be fresher versions out there. Like we were talking about, the spice might be a little too harsh. Let us know if you've tried that. Have you ever had this big of a pumpkin beer? Almost 20%. That's big. It's big. I mean, this is big. This is boozy. Yeah. What did you think of those styles? See you guys.